I'm Jillian Reeve. And I'm Landon Alice, and we'd like to welcome you to Western Reserve Academy's premier late night talk and sketch comedy show, The Wrap. Hey, the morning meeting's that way. Thank you. We're making history here tonight at The Wrap, as this is the first time a co-hosting duo has ever made more than one episode together. The last monologue was so bad that the faculty just let us try again. <laughs> Tonight's episode is hopefully the last one without a live audience. Honestly, we didn't have to film this due to COVID restrictions. We just figured nobody wanted to see Kool-Aid Man and Theater Girl live, so that. Now onto the news. Right now, the class of 2021 is hearing exciting news of all kinds about where they will be spending the next chapter of their lives outside of reserve. As exciting as college can be, no one is more excited than the freshmen. The sophomores. Juniors. The seniors themselves. <laughs> the faculty. Um, the, the lunch people. Literally everyone in the town of Hudson. It's, yeah. Probably outside of Hudson too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Few moments later. And pretty much everybody else who never wants to see us again. That's right, Jill. It's just a couple more weeks and I never have to work with you again. I think it's really interesting to see where everyone will be going after they're done at reserve. That's true, Jill. And while we're on that subject, I'd like to congratulate our student body co-president on a giant accomplishment they came upon. You're right, Landon. The rap would like to congratulate Hunter Amos on her acceptance to Harvard. That is such an incredible opportunity. Jill, Jill. That's not who I was talking about. You said to congratulate the co-student body president. I meant the, the other one. Oh, mm-hmm. Screw you, Hunter. The rap would actually like to congratulate Rocco Perlizzo on his acceptance to the prestigious University of Phoenix Online. It's all downhill from here, Rocco. This year at Reserve, there's definitely been far more to do than last year. You know, I'm starting to think, however, with names like Fire and Ice and Corn Dogs and Comedians, that we're just coming up with names by the magnets that used to be on the third floor of Seymour Hall. That's right, Jill. So many new events this year. Though, I think we finally figured out the answer to why we run out of money every single March. Speaking, out of, speaking of running out of money every single March, this past March, we got our annual visit from Mr. LaFontaine, the Assistant Head of School for Advancement. During his announcement, Mr. LaFontaine announced that for the second year in a row, we would be getting socks for Philanthropy Week. But he didn't just casually mention that. Socks, 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 socks. Socks, 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 socks. Socks were a good choice, although socks are an underappreciated article of clothing. I mean, Mr. LaFontaine made a good choice when he thought socks are going to be perfect, but I mean, the actual execution of it, I mean, first of all, it wasn't even the actual green that we normally use for reserve, and the very texture of it, I mean, I personally have eczema, and I don't really appreciate that kind of texture on my skin, especially after I'm wearing well, here at Reserve, athletics have become the talk of the campus. So here to give you your Reserve sports update, because people got mad when I talked about sports last time, is our very own Gunner Gray. Yeah, thank you guys for finally having me on for something I truly care about. Didn't you give a tour of the school in the last episode? Again, thank you guys for having me on for something I truly care about. Glad you guys are finally giving me a chance to be myself. Okay. Well, go ahead. What do you got for us? Well, I'm here with a few great updates tonight. To start off with the biggest item around campus, the afternoon music program is absolutely thriving. With veteran head coach Midge Karam and new assistant coach Ed Leonard, the program is seeing stats like never before. I actually reached out to Coach Karam to see what she had to say about the spring season. Here's what she had for me. Gunner, please stop texting and emailing me. The amount of emojis you use is very concerning. Please find friends as I am not one of yours. Truly motivating things from Ms. Karam. Yeah. It's nice that afternoon music is doing good, but it, it's not why you're here. All right, 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 I'm sorry, I'll get to what I'm here for. Relationships here at Reserve can be hard. That's why I, relationship expert Gunner Gray. Gunner, no, I get it. I'm the one telling you don't give relationship advice, but just tell us about sports. Okay, well, I guess baseball's good and lacrosse is decent, so we have that going for us. Do you know what's really, really good? What? 
the softball oh team. Oh, with, you know, stars like my sister and my girlfriend. This team is seeing stats like never before. <sighs> Gunner Gray, everybody. Thanks, bud. Hey, what's up with LaFontaine and the Sox? Dude, you two. Now on to more updates. This spring, Mrs. Buck announced that the chapel would be undergoing renovation, sending morning meeting outside. That's right, Jill, morning meeting is outside now. Though it's not in its normal spot, we still kept some of our same traditions. The speaker's always way too loud or way too quiet. David King or E-Dog always has an announcement. And of course, Mrs. Skinner still wails her arms through the air like it's some sort of weird challenge they came up with in the Student Life Office. In other news, this past winter, athletic awards were handed out. It brought us great moments like Mr. Mattal equating fencing and wrestling, and Mr. Hutchins calling the basketball team humble. I did not write a joke there. Those two things actually happened. While we're on the subject, we'd like to congratulate Mr. Hutchins on becoming the new athletic director of next year. We're sad to see Mr. Howler go, though. We're going to miss those interactions where you see him coming down the hall on the Mac, and you, and you just start thinking of things to say, and instead of saying anything, you just kind of stare at him, and you walk by because, you know, full well that man does not know your name. Another news this April, the school held the Backyard Beach Bash because nothing screams boarding school like 50 white kids walking into the athletic center with beach shirts on. And on a serious note, we'd like to thank all those teachers who will be departing campus at the end of the year. Your presence will be missed. And to Mr. Moynihan, we think you should stay watching. We have something good in store for you. That's what's in store here at Reserve. And with that being said, let's go on with tonight's show. Hayden Hall, the home of music at Western Reserve Academy. But what you may not know is that it's haunted. We went inside to see what it is, and here is our reactions. Hi, my name is Ronan Moyarty. And I'm Landon Alice. And today we're going to be exploring the infamous Hayden Hall. This is the spot where countless people died in the sinking of the Titanic. We're going to be seeing if their restless souls have anything else to say to the land of the living. Let's go inside. This building right here is apparently where the iceberg was. Let's go. Still here, it's still here, it's still here. Go, 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 go! That goes. Got straight. Ah, ah, ah.
My name's David King, and let's ruin someone's day. Come on. Casey, Casey, Casey. Casey, Casey, what's the meaning of your life? What? What's the meaning of your life? Uh, oh my god, <laughs> I don't know. Give me an answer. Um, I don't, what? What's the meaning of your life? I don't know. Okay, you last stop, opportunity. Maggie, Maggie, what's the meaning of your life? There is no meaning in my life. That's a good one. Here's a dollar. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Explain to me how boats work for a dollar. Well, like what kind of boat? Just boats. Any. I mean, Sarah, what do you think? <laughs> Don't ask me. This is your question. I mean, okay. I guess if it's like a, a steamboat, I guess it's like steam powered. Good, yeah. Here's a dollar. <laughs> Daniel, 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 Daniel. How do we know the universe has no end? We don't. That's good. Yes, yeah, correct. Here's a dollar. Oh, sick. <laughs> What's better, tennis or lacrosse? Lacrosse. Wrong. AJ, AJ. Do you like Open Door? I don't drink coffee. Oh, cool. Here's an Open Door gift card. <laughs> <laughs> Dawson! 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 What's the First Amendment? Uh, uh, women, though. <laughs> Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. Can you start singing the alma mater? Uh... Um. Uh. Come on. <sighs> any part, any part. Dear old reserve. Good job, here's a dollar. Thank you. Come on. Broden. Broden. Landon or Gunner? Landon or Gunner? Yeah. Landon. Yes! Good job. Don't give him anything. <laughs> what is it? Coffee. Mantha? Yes. Thanks. Here's a dollar. Thanks. Bye. Lauren! <laughs> Lauren! 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 Landon or Gunner? For what? Just Landon or Gunner. Uh, Gunner, because he's in my grade. <laughs> nice. Also, how do you know when you're out of invisible ink? Uh, lemon juice, you. Oh, it? Yeah. that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a gift card. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's an open door gift card. Oh, thank you. Courtesy so much. of Dr. Nicholas Kent. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. See ya! I don't know if I want to do this. Yes, you do. This is Who's really smarter? Me or Landon? You. <sighs> yes, here's a dollar. Sorry, Landon. Also, Landon or Gunner? I don't... Landon. Gunner? I don't know. Damn, Gunner, you really just fell to the entire Zia, pyramid there. I probably bought you food before. Landon. <laughs> <laughs> Though David had gotten some good answers during lunch, he thought the best place to get some amazing answers would be at Reserve's most valued tradition, Morning meeting. I have a question. How do you find out when invisible ink is out? Nuggets. Nuggets? Okay. Alright, good right. answer. Izzo, 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 quick. <laughs> Who's smarter? You or her? <laughs> Paige. Okay. Miss <laughs> Karen, Miss Karen, Miss Karen. What's the meaning of your life? Love. Okay. Yes. We love that. Delia, Delia, yes. if you won a lottery right now, what would you do with the money? Um, I would put some towards my college tuition, housing, Boring. Okay. Hey, give her a dollar. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> Here. Work. Miss Anzaldi. <laughs> Explain to me how boats work for a dollar. How boats work? Yeah. Um, they float in water. Is the science? Yes. Mm. Okay. Good work. It's going to be Sunday, May 2nd. Uh, we got like people here. Maggie Baker, Maggie Baker, Maggie Baker. Maggie Baker. Yeah, so we're going to be. How do we know the universe has no end? Uh, because uh, people keep living in. Boring. Wait, okay. what? Here's a dollar, here's a dollar, here's a dollar. Here's a dollar. Here's a dollar. Here. Go, go, go. Hunter, 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 Hunter. 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 What's your last name? Amen. Here's a gift card. Oh, yeah. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Hi, Miss Delbeck, Miss Delbeck. Wait, what's the First Amendment? What's the First Amendment? What's the First Amendment? Only after you do a question. Hello. Hello. Hi. 
Stan Bray, Stan Bray. What's the first line of the alma mater? Let's go, Stan! Let's go, Dan! No, okay. <laughs> Let's see who else. I know it. Yeah. Uh, Mayor Pizza. Miss Bond. Miss Bond. Miss Bond. You guys are good. <laughs> nice job. Yes. Yes. Um, who's your least favorite faculty member? I don't have a least favorite faculty member. That's a lot. There, that, uh, no, I don't uh, not. Okay. Last week, how I've waited for this day, even though I'm just a junior, I'm gonna park in the senior spots anyway. Yeah, today I went 50 in a 20. Cause how could I ever go so slow? But you probably think that driving so great, no responsibility. But little did I know there's someone.
Hello, I'm Cletus Smith. I'm from Texas, Massachusetts, and I'm the new head coach of the intramural football team here at Western Reserve Academy. I'll let you in a look at uh, one of my practices. The first step of any good practice is some light conditioning to warm up the muscles. I like to do it a little bit of an unorthodox way rather than just boring running. Ready, guys? Let's go! Yeah! Good job rolling in. Good rolls, good rolls. All right, come back, come back, come back. Here we go, here we go. All right, we're... Next part of practice, playing some catch with the football. Make sure we're all warmed up. <laughs> coach, coach, where's, where's the football? Anna, Anna, where's the football? Ronnie, where's the football? Anna, he's dead. James, where's the football? Uh, go get a football. Uh... Coach, you've had a rough practice. Need some water, you got some water? Did you bring any water? I'm Water's a, water a sore break. subject out here. Ronan asked for a water break two days ago and he hasn't got it. I think he's dead. Ronan, 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 wake up. Get some water. Coach, coach, coach. Coach, I found it. I found it. Now, on these really hot mid-April two-a-days, it's important that we take nice breaks and risks in between practice. So, we're gonna enter the share circle. Well, everybody, I wanted to know, what got you into the game of football? Well, I'm planning to go pro, sir. Really? Okay, James? Well, Carter made me. Okay, Anna? Well, tell you the truth, I'm a big Cleveland Indians fan. Oh, uh, inspiring, inspiring. Ronan? Uh, co coach. No, he... Okay. No. Okay. Uh, well, we're already here. Who wants to play Duck Duck Goose? We've got a very versatile team of four athletes here on the intramural football team. So sometimes I like to expand them to other sports just to make sure they're not limiting themselves here at football. Here we go, boy. Let's go. Carter, what is that run? What is that run? Yeah, Anna. James. James, too far. <laughs> <laughs> Ronan, get up! At the end of the day, I really love my team. That's why I've scheduled us a game for today. It's our first game of the season, and hopefully the last. Hello? There's no such thing as intramural football? <laughs> okay. Guys, go home. It's done. You know, when we asked Lane to say something about Mr. Moynihan, um, we expect him to say something nice about him. Instead, we're pretty sure Lane thought that Mr. Moynihan was dead. But Lane's words were so nice and inspiring and motivational that we still decided to keep it in the show. Reminder, Mr. Moynihan is not dead. He's just leaving the school. Hello friends, students, family. I would like today not to be a day of mourning, but a day of remembrance. I do understand though if you're mourning or have sadness, as today we have lost a great man, a hero to many, personally my inspiration. Now, the reason I want this to be a day of remembrance is Mr. Moynihan won't want us to be sad. 
He always did his best to make people happy, make people smile. Whether it was a simple, yep, or just a casual, how's school? What'd you learn? Those are the things that really got to me. Or even my favorite line, good deal. Those are the things that made Mr. Moynihan not just a great man, but a great role model. Now, we're delivering this eulogy today on the back fields and on this sled where he inspired me probably the most. I heard many awe-inspiring lines such as, wow, we're really bad, or Brennan Williams, please shut up. Many inspiring lines were heard on these fields, even on these sleds. I stand where Mr. Moynihan once stood and inspired not only me, but a group of men to play football. Not only was Mr. Moynihan a football coach, but a line teacher. Now, if you may have had Mr. Moynihan, personally I have him first hour. He may be late. That's not because he wants to be. It's because he's checking Twitter, watching film, doing his job. Mr. Moynihan will truly be missed, not only by me, not only by Reserve, but everybody that's ever interacted with him. He's not only my role model, but my best friend. And if I know, if I know Mr. Moynihan, he's looking down at me right now, and he's saying, Lane, wrap it up, please. So that's all I have. I hope that we're not mourning Mr. Moynihan, but instead remembering him as the man, the role model, and the inspiration that he was. Thank you. We thank you for joining us here tonight on The Ramp. It's been a really fun show. We couldn't have done this show without the support of a lot of great people. We'd like to thank the tech office for building us the sign and for constantly loaning us cameras. We couldn't have done the show without you guys. The show is somehow even less funny without cameras. Special thanks to Dr. Ken for giving us open door gift cards and to the Student Life Office for scheduling the grand premiere. The show would not have been possible without the support of our faculty advisors, Mr. Davies and Mrs. Ong. They told us what we could and couldn't say because we kind of didn't do it last time. And of course, our cast and crew was amazing. And thanks to Carter and Gunner for leading the show. You guys are cool sometimes. And Jill, this part isn't the teleprompter, but it's your last show. Thank you for being here. You've been a great green key, great co-host. I'm going to miss you next year. <laughs> so, with that being said, I'm Julian Reeve. And I'm Landon Alice. And, and that's, that's a wrap! wrap.